Hello and welcome. Please take a moment, pause the video, and try this problem on your own. Okay, let's start by reading this problem together. We're told that a school is building a rectangular soccer field. Okay, so we have a rectangular soccer field. I like to sketch things, things out as I go. Um, let's use green actually to represent the turf on the field, maybe. Okay, and it has an area of 6,000 square yards. Okay, so I'm going to label that yard squared. The soccer field must be 40 yards longer than its width. Okay, so my the orientation of my soccer field is a little bit off. Let's fix that. It should be longer than it is wider. So, okay. Again, if the area is 6,000 square yards, and again, the um, field must be 40 yards longer than its width. So um, we want to know the dimensions, right? So if the width is W, that means that this dimension, the length, uh, L, is just W plus 40, right? It's 40 yards longer, and that equals L. So here we want to know what those dimensions are. And that means, since we only know area, that's kind of a hint that we have to multiply W by W plus 40, because this means the product of these two sides must equal 6,000. So now we solve. W times W is W squared. W times 40 is 40W. Then we subtract 6,000 from both sides to get 0 here on one side. Once we get 0 on one side, um, we can use the quadratic formula or whatever method we want to use in order to figure this out. So here, um, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. We have A equals 1. B equals 40, right? A is the coefficient of W squared, B is the coefficient of W, and C is the constant on its own. Now the quadratic formula says that X, or in this case, W, equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Well, okay, so here that means that it equals negative 40 plus or minus 40 squared, which is... Um, 1600 minus 4 times a times c, a is just 1, okay, over 2 times 1, or just 2. Okay, so then what's going to happen, we have w equals negative 40 plus or minus the square root of 1600 plus, we have two negatives here being multiplied, 24,000 over 2, almost there, um, okay, so negative 40 divided by 2, that equals negative 20. Plus or minus, we still haven't gotten rid of the 2 entirely in this denominator, because we have to divide the discriminant uh, by it, the part of the uh, equation that is under the square root, so we have to deal with that. So that's um, the sum of these two is 40,000, excuse me, 25,600, and that's still over 2. Now I don't know if that's a perfect square, let's see. So what is the square root 25,600 uh, to the 0.5 power? Oh, very nice, it is a perfect square. So we have w equals negative 20 plus or minus 160 over two. So w equals negative 20 plus or minus 80. So there are two values for w. Let's see if they're both reasonable. w could equal negative 20 plus 80 and w could equal negative 20 minus 80. Now, negative 20 plus 80 is 60. That seems reasonable. Negative 20 minus 80 is negative 100. That's not reasonable because we're dealing with dimensions of a soccer field. You can't have negative 100 for a dimension. So this just tells us that w is 60, and then length, of course, is 40 more than that, or 100. So those are our two dimensions. L is 100. W is 60. You can check it out. 60 times 100 is 6,000, and that works for the soccer field. All right, hope this helped.